teams. When you gotta play doubles. Yeah, he, yeah. It's a different game plan. It's why it's just players are better at, you know, it looks like Bill Fan and Joe do incredible doubles. Like, run right and tempo, right? Yeah, run right and tempo are a great example. They're just always ready in a doubles brain. Like, they're never not. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, if, if they're, if they're, uh, me and Fierce signing, up for, signing off for Vecca and Later. Tariq. Tariq uh, and Vecca are gaming. <laughs> Who we got? All right, now that I can hear myself talk instead of Dendi talking exclusively, yeah. <laughs> uh, we are commentating this is final. For for those on the stream who don't know, we got like a big speaker like right next to us. And it's just Dendi speaking into the mic, and it's kind of blowing our ears. Yeah. It's okay. We get it. All right, looks like looks like they're doing warm up. Some hand warmers. Um, wow, Hundo not even moving the sticks, showing just how technical Marth is. So we got. Oh my Marth, gosh! Marth Holy. Falco against okay, I actually like what I'm seeing Hundo doing with the the shield breaker. Hundo was teaching me some things like on ledge. Yeah, Hundo started. Was, was he doing the neutral B thing? I don't know. Um, you like I remember at. Invincible, I was watching Hundo on stream against A Fox. I do not remember which one, but he was doing the no impact land onto platforms to up tilt. And yep, yep. no impact land is something that is hugely beneficial for sword characters just in right. the way that it extends their ability. Yeah, I know it's gigantic. And we see like top players like Zane do it all the time. Yeah. And like it, it brings, there was this one big set against Hungry Box that. Uh, he pretty much closed it out with like a no impact land up tilt, and that was yeah. like the sickest thing ever. But no, I agree. We'll see how it pays off in doubles, though. I I don't think it's gonna come up that Some often in doubles. I I think that's a maybe the ledge shield breaker probably gonna come up more often than that. Right. So big tipper. Okay, now they're both kind of near off stage. I see a lot of like uh, doubles just like going to the corner. Like right now everyone's like in the corner and it's like, I don't know if it's like a good thing or more so like, I'm better in the corner than you are. Oh god, yeah, they are definitely demonstrating a extra teeth in the corner right now. Here we going in, got the 2v1. Right, right. Oh sometimes, it's, sometimes it's just cut out letting you know? Counter might be actually. Do you think the, the counter will come up? What do you think? Probably not. I'm. I would expect to see more down smashes. It looks like Crash Jack is trying to go for them, but just not finding the right positioning for them. That's that's making it a lot harder, just because they don't really have a good tool for racking up that damage. But Joey and Mundo definitely showing that they can stitch together that damage easily. I mean. Pokemon, some stuff. Um, well, these stocks just disappeared. They went out so quickly. Let's see what's happening. Some two 1v1s. I guess that's what you say. Um, what do you call Now this, this seems like a really good team setup between Mars and Falco. When, when we have the big beach, just like recovering, you kind of have to pay attention to the other character. I could not hear a word of what you said. Dendi was, uh, Dendi was doing his TO yeah, thing. You got big mic. Oh no. Oh, team combos. Party mini game over here. Uh, up here. Yep, yep. Yep. Joey and Hondo looking like they are rearing to go at each other at any second. <laughs> so, what are, what's going to be the strat that Trash Deck and uh, Lex are going to pull out? Because 
It kind of seemed like there was a lot of scrapping. Um, I think I wonder, a lot what, I wonder what Joey and Hondo have in mind, though. I think a successful strategy for Peach probably looking like Peach probably wants to stay on the ground or at least on a platform, doesn't want to be in the air too often. Yep. Just because Peach gets a lot of those strong hits grounded, and then Fox, of course, gets the powerful aerial hits. But, I mean, kind of 2-1-1-1 he wants going on right now. Yeah, I mean, Martha has the complete cost, has the capability of just like 1v1 against Missy. Just because of the S guarding. The wobble. Yeah. I think maybe the strike lies in the corner. Because both Joey and Hondo are proficient in like S guarding Fox. So they can just like drain the stock. Drain a bunch of stocks. I've never known Minnesota to be a state big on Peach players. Having Peach players sure. seems like a, huh? You sure about that? Um, so much of Peach players. No, no, I mean like historically when Hundo oh. was more active. Yes, yes. Um, I so I'm, I'm not sure what Hundo's experience for like edge guarding Peach is like, but he seems to be doing a pretty good job of it. I get what you mean. Uh, Joey almost bit it there, but uh, waiting just long enough that he's not getting head guard. There's like something about realizing the spacey is recovered, sorry, the floaty is recovered. And then you're like the fox, right? Your, peaches, your partner is recovering and you're like, okay, I'm just here by myself. And the other person will go towards me because it's usually better to get the person on stage than like head guard beat. And Lexer like, actually picked it up, so some stocks flying around. What do you think about this counter pick? I think the counter pick is working out pretty well. Like especially with Peach tanking a lot more. Keeping it, stock. keeping it pretty even between Hondo and Trash Jack in terms of stock and percent, but... Ooh, yeah, those cleaning things up. So now they have... Now Hondo and Joey have the cleaning. Oh. I definitely feel like Peach being kind of more of a heavy hitter, but not necessarily easy to get in with. Against characters like Mars with Falco and Doubles, it's best to just keep them in some kind of hit stun, not where they want to be. Like, as long as you can put them in situations where they're in tumble, then their strengths get diminished a lot. But Peach kind of has a lot of trouble getting in on these characters in a meaningful way to do that. Keep them in a disadvantage situation. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, big ass smash! Oh, another one! What's happening here? Oh. Uh, oh my gosh. Big, big dare, but gets an edge guard in. Okay, now it's What's just Hondo playing 2v1. Oh gosh. Oh, this oh, is. Oh, we've seen the combo. Okay, Hondo fighting back, though. I was wondering if I should bring up this, this man oh. right now. Hondo's name in Spanish. See what I mean? Alright, let's see. The, the ledge dash up tilt yeah. was a good attempt, but it looks like they were ready for it. And, oh, uh, the, oh, the <laughs> Alright. Alright, so now it's 1 1. As um, them taking it to a game 2 on yep. even terms. Yep. Well, Hondo having the counter pick opportunity, but. A lot better of a situation to be in than down 0-2. And who's winning in uh, Grand Finals? I'm pretty sure it's Preeminent and Sloking, right? Yeah, I, th I would assume so. Yeah, Preeminent just watching right now. Uh, we got FD. Oh no, we got... SD, Lexor, setting up. A bunch of hits going on. I'm not really sure what win condition looks like for this team on FT. So, 
I think... I think lasers are pretty good at this stage, because it kind of locks down both characters. You have to go in the air, and then you know who's good at picking people in the air. Yeah, Art. of course. Um, so let's say it makes sense as a counter pick compared to other stages. Um, ooh, Missy up B. 100 donuts, that's entirely too many donuts. 100,000 donuts, yeah. 100 grand donuts. Those are very pricey donuts. No reason. Wonder if he's, if he's ever gonna make them. Huh? The, the, wonder if he's ever gonna make the name of brand like that. Putting melee like 10 years later. Like, no these donuts. All the melee carry was just a marketing team. I'm a little bit surprised to see that it's Falco who's stock tank in here, but Falco obviously not quite falling fast. Right. Probably not getting put wow. in as many bad situations with this use of waves there. That's one of the, the harder things about using a sword character in doubles, I think, is it's, it's just easy to like accidentally hit your teammates off, but with right. Mark at least, those sour spots. Oh no. Oh, jo oh Noe. Oh Noe. Noe oh, Jonuts. Noe Jonuts. Now this, oh, this counter pick up kind here. of burning on that. That's up here. Alright, take Tippy a toes. Me and Big Duck call that a trail. Just like Tippy, Tippy toes. toes on the light shield. From Beach. Okay, oh no, they're... Twinkle Toes, that was the one. They are down to their last two stars. This was looking so good for them at the beginning of the game, but. Joey and Lexor and Jacqueline finding a good way to bring this back. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. Was that a wave dash? I think so. Wave dash, dash, dash. Right. Kind of last stocks right now. What's happening? Oh, now it's the 2v1. 2v1. Now we have Ponto again. Ooh, and we get the neutral B. And then we get Fox in the air. What's happening? Oh, and we got some movement. Both of them on shield. Oh, that should be oh, it. What's going to happen? Oh, no, Ooh, the side B. no way to chase that B, one. Like, dodge it. Oh, and he's still not dead. Oh, oh, the, those, the shield breaker coming out. Do you think they're scared? Huh? They're not scared. Never mind. They were never scared. It's so loud. Quick neutral attack. This, this is kind of pool loud. Pool 2, Pool 2, you'll be playing on that white block over there with the white table. But I get so much and you'll to also like... be reporting to Nobody Knows. Pool 2, Pool 2, we have Botanist versus Cartoon Buffoon. Wait a second. Banger versus Bake Dog. Etos versus Hunty Buns. And Knight versus a Hamster. <laughs> pool 2, right where Nobody Knows is waving his hands and the following players have a bye. Sloking and trash chat. Okay, the announcement's possibly being over for the moment. Finally! Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. They're done. So considerate that they put a stereo right next to us. Oh! All right, cool. We got more audio. Let's go. I hear better. 
Oh, never mind. Okay, you drunk totally not ruptured. This counter Oh my god. It would be super cool if he did like some kind of like over, you know, to just notify when he's done talking. Because I think he's done like the retalk four times. And I think that's more um yeah. I, I, don't, I don't I don't need to be able to hear. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing melee in this game. Oh god, oh. this game looking really bad. Yeah, no, and tough. Hondo hits those, in case Dang. you didn't know. That was, uh... Some that people was don't know that Hondo hits those. Yeah. <laughs> that Etos tweet. <laughs> oh no. Everyone knows he hits those. Everyone. We've got a cheater on each of these teams right here. A cheater? A yes. cheater. Peach more so than in Joey, or more so than in Falco. Actually, more 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 accurately described as Joey. It's a Joey Falco. Joey on Joey the Donuts Falco. Do you know Joey Donuts is Falco? So Joey Donuts Falco. It's a Joey Donuts it's a Falco. Fun fact. I don't I don't know if the world needs more Joey Donuts Falcos. Was oh, this Var? They're like, okay, so there's a red card over here. Person came from the from as, behind. As somebody who has received tackle. instruction from Joey Donuts about how to play. Never mind. We're we're listening to Dendi now. Other than the winner's final, the winner's final will be three out of five. Okay, test. Um. Yeah, we should. So when I. All right, can you hear me or? I I can hear you a little better. Okay. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. All right. Now we have some functioning audio for the fifth <laughs> game. Let's go. Going for it, doubles are. I'm, now, a, I'm a double player, I'm sorry. Now that, no, that, that last it's game. Fun. Very Mario Party, though. That's fun. The last game looking pretty dire for Green Team. Did we even need to come in that last game? It was just like pretty dire. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say. It was, it was difficult for the Green Team. It, however, it's been back and forth this, this set. We're gonna see what happens in game five. Game five deciding who goes to grand finals. Who gets second place? Who gets third place? Ooh, picking up the edge guard. Okay, we've got <laughs> the wobble. Oh, that is a destructive down smash. Really breaking up their formation. Oh my gosh, but Lexor finishing off Jacqueline. That's not what you want to see from Team Green. Did you see that? They're, they both went to each ledge. They're yeah. so confident to be like separated and like not, you know. Okay, oh, wait, never we mind. Cleaning up, maybe. Fire back. Fire back. They, no. can, they can make this even very quickly. But the thing is that they're both good off ledge. Yes, Joey, Joey and Hondo definitely know how to get off the ledge properly. Now, Lexor, maybe not quite so good at that under yeah. stress. And Peach, of course, having very little ability to do that. I, I, I wouldn't really know, honestly. Ledge dashing is like some little responsibility. Something I avoid. Double laser? It's like fun in games. Okay, now that blue Ooh. team getting pressured in the corner no. here. Oh, yeah. That oh, this might get turned around. The same thing that you said. Uh, sword, swordy. Uh, possibly hitting the other teammate because the sword is just too long. Yeah. It's um, like it's hard to... 
take into account where your teammate is, especially in a dynamic game like Melee, and then you're like suddenly like hitting the Falco off stage. I think that's like the biggest weakness of this team. It's not always necessarily a weakness because if your teammate is at low percentage of like sword, it's not going to knock them around very much, but if it's like you and then your teammate and your opponent in a line, then you're probably going to be hitting your teammate with weaker attacks and the opponent with stronger attacks. Right. Enjoy your donuts. Laser focus. Yes. Um, laser focused and focus on the lasers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I love Graham. I pre I pre ordered that joke from you. Alright, this is kind of even-ish. We can maybe get like a quick stock of the feature. Um, this is what's looking happening here. Really no we need new US for green. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. That's a nice back here. Beep. Okay, oh, Peach is out. Let's see how they play this. Um, very interesting. I think they're Do you think they're all shaking? They must be shaking. Their hands no are their hands are jello right now. The typing. Oh, Oh no, he. Hypers. Oh, oh no, he. Oh. Okay, take stock. And if they can get the stock okay. off of Hondo right now, the then recovery this is from Hondo. Really good. So what is happening? Okay, Fox at 135%. Black Sword needs to stay oh. alive right now. If he can hit this edge guard, but we need, Joey, Joey we need, needs to help. We need Joey needs. Okay. Oh, Joey forgetting about the other side of the stage. The roll up got through the Joey down do. smash. And Joey fighting for his life. Oh, These no, are both doable secret. stocks to take. But he's going oh, to need good, a good. miracle. Lexor and Jacqueline at the same time. Oh wow! Power shield grab out. Okay, Chain amazing. Grab. All right, two v one combo combo. Oh no! That could have been a back air, I think. Right, right, right. Back air. This is possible. This is entirely possible. What's gonna happen? Oh no! A near and then be oh. oh. That is a peach thing, and that was very is, good effort. That is a clutch ledge grab. Very good. Exactly effort. what they needed right there. Yep. Well, even if you cover you cover the ledge and then 